So the solution to this example, what we've got is it's set up. It's quite useful to look at how we've done this. We know we're in month two and you'll see we do a count if there. And what this is doing on a monthly basis, it's going and you'll see using an offset, pulling the second month's budget forecast actual. For year to date, pretty much the same thing, except we use a sum and an offset. Now we want to create the variance actual to budget. So normally you would go equals actual divided by budget minus one. So it tells us there's a drop in of 7%. And if I copied this down, here we've got a situation where actual has decreased, which is a good thing, but you'll see we're getting a negative sign. This is because of the positive negatives here. So I need to create an if function I'm going to tell it is if the actual we're looking at, and I'm going to use bigger than zero. So if it's a positive number, then that's fine. Use the formula created. But if it's not a positive number, therefore it's a negative number, do it the other way around. So it's going to be one minus that item there. So now that one's still minus 7%, but you'll see that now shows as a positive. Let's just paste that same formula everywhere. So now we've got our percentages. We now want to add conditional formatting. So I'm going to highlight, hold control down and highlight those. I'm going to go to home, conditional formatting, go to the icons and we want to add these arrows up and down. When I click on it, so it's added it, but if you look carefully at it, it doesn't quite make sense. You know, that's a, a green upwards arrow. This is because Excel has guesstimated what an upward green arrow should be. So we're going to go to manage rules. And what you'll see, Excel is using the percentile type method. We don't want that. We want to know if it's up, it's bigger than zero, it must turn green. If it's down, less than zero, it must turn red. So I'm going to change the type to be a number and this type to be a number. So we want it to be green when the value is bigger than or equal to zero. That makes sense. It's going to be orange or straight line when it's less than zero and bigger than or equal to zero and red when it's less than zero. So that looks fine. Let's just see how it works. So you'll see that looks a lot better. And it's showing red negative when there's negative, green when there's positive.